What's cracking? What's cracking? What's cracking, everybody? It's your boy Taylor J here, and welcome back to another YouTube video. In this YouTube video, I'm gonna show you an Easter egg of how to unlock Thanos' car in Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Now, this is an Easter egg. I didn't even know this existed until just 30 seconds ago. And man, oh man, wasn't I surprised this was in the game. Now, if you don't remember or know who Thanos' car is, he is the main bad guy in Call of Duty Black Ops 1 for the Nintendo DS, yes. So, if you haven't played that game, I would really recommend it, because it's a really good game. It's probably the number one best game on the Nintendo DS. Anyways, enough of the nonsense, let me get into the guide. So, the first step to this Easter egg unlock guide, whatever you want to call it, is you need to find one of these bad boys right here. Now, if you don't know what this is, this is basically a new vehicle they added. I forgot the name of it. Hold up. It's called an ARAV. Yes. Supplies. This is an ARAV, and you need to find one of these for your first step to get in this challenge. Now, for the second step, is you need to get yourself in one of these bad boys and you just easily want to switch seats. And once you're in the passenger seat, you want to look to your left. And boom! Right there is the Thanos car item. So once you pick that up and go in your inventory, man, there it is. Ain't it beautiful with all of its glory? Now, if you can look, this challenge looks pretty difficult. Let me read this out for you. So the first step which is the most painfulest step I ever seen. Oh man, let me just start reading it. So it says complete operation first strike and compilation or operation I mean absolute zero. So that means you have to complete operation first strike which was like two hundred dollars and you need to complete operation zero. Which is like $100. So if you haven't completed the first operation that unlocked Hudson, you can't do this. Easter egg. I'm sorry to tell you that. You missed out. You should have unlocked Hudson and took your mom's credit card and spent $200 worth of microtransactions. And for Operation Zero, if you haven't completed that yet, you still can't do this challenge. So what I would recommend is to... Uh, Get your mom's credit card number and spend $100 in this game because, man, oh man, it's painful unlocking all these tears. Anyways, then you have to complete all character unlock challenges. So that means you have to unlock, when I say unlock, I mean every single character on this game. I mean, like, I'm talking about Hudson, Mason, who else? Dempsey, last gen Dempsey, last, de last gen Dempsey, last gen McTuffin, last gen... Who else? I don't know. Uh, Nikolai, you have to lock. Man, I forgot who else. Um, anyways, you just have to unlock everybody, basically. I don't know all their names. I'm like, I know them, I just can't remember them right off the bat. And you need to spend at least $500 worth of microtransactions. And that doesn't mean I lock 500 items. The count is... No, wait. You don't have to... Now, when I say this, I don't mean... Unlock 500 items that's like $500. You need to actually spend $500. So, yeah, that's the first step on here. And for the second step, you need to kill 45 enemies with a vehicle without taking damage. And this is a pretty easy step. Um, it's only like 45 people. At least it's not 100 because that will be impossible. Then you have to achieve victory with Thanos car and in inventory. And that is it. Once you complete all of these, you'll be able to unlock, play and unlock Thanos car and blackout. Now, if you found this guide useful, please hit that like button. Let's go for it. Three and a half likes. If we can make it to three and a half likes, I would really, really appreciate it. And yeah, that's all I gotta say. And 
make sure you subscribe, hit the dislike button, and what else? Yeah, I almost forgot. Stay hydrated, my friends. Now, see y'all in the next video.